This is not just a story of a fighter jet. This is the humiliation of the world's biggest superpower. For decades, America has claimed dominance of the skies. Billions spent, endless propaganda, and a narrative that U.S. fighters were untouchable. But then came a jet that America never took seriously until it was too late. The Swedish JAS-39 Grappen, built not by a global empire, not by a trillion-dollar defense machine, but by a small Scandinavian nation famous for neutrality and simplicity. Sweden doesn't fight world wars. It doesn't project global power like the U.S. And yet, it built a jet that humiliated America's most expensive fighters. In war games, in simulations, and in secret confrontations that the Pentagon never wanted you to hear about, how can a small, single-engine jet costing less than half of an F-35, defeat America's most advanced aircraft? The answer is terrifying for Washington, because Gripen wasn't designed to be flashy. It was designed to be smart. Let's go back. During the Cold War, Sweden knew it could never match NATO or the Soviet Union in size. If war broke out, Sweden would stand alone. They needed a fighter that could survive in chaos, take off from highways, be maintained by just a few mechanics, and still destroy the most advanced the enemy aircraft. This philosophy gave birth to Gripen. While America built heavy, expensive, maintenance-hungry machines, Sweden built a jet that is small, fast, agile, and electronically lethal. The Gripen is not about brute force. It's about outsmarting the enemy. And in exercise after exercise, it did exactly that. In NATO war games, Swedish Gripens went up against American F-16s, F-18s, even the much-hyped F-35s. On paper, the US jets should have crushed them. In reality, Gripens locked on first, jammed radars and simulated kills before American pilots even knew they were targeted. The humiliation was real, and insiders still whisper about how the world's so-called unbeatable air force got blindsided by a jet from Sweden. Gripen's true power isn't just its agility or weapons, it's its brain. The jet's electronic warfare system, so advanced, so secret, can blind enemy radars, break missile locks, and turn the battlefield into chaos. U.S. pilots reported their radars going dark, their missiles useless, while Gripen's flew circles around them. Imagine the humiliation. Billion-dollar fighters rendered helpless by a jet that costs a fraction. And this isn't just theory. In one famous exercise, South Africa's Gripen's went head-to-head -head against America's F-15s, and the results shocked everyone. Gripen pilots scored multiple kills while staying undetected, proving that brains beat brute force. Even in international competitions, countries that flew Gripen consistently embarrassed American aircraft. For the U.S., the worst part isn't losing in a single dogfight. It's what Gripen represents. Because every time a Gripen outperforms an American jet, the world sees the truth. America's air dominance is built on money and marketing, not invincibility. Sweden's creation proved that efficiency, smart design, and adaptability can humiliate even the mightiest military on Earth. And yet, this is only the beginning, because Gripen's secrets go far deeper than anyone imagined. But Gripen's secrets go far deeper than anyone imagined because this is not just a fighter jet. It is a weapon of strategy, deception, and survival. While America's jets demand giant air bases, massive budgets, and hundreds of technicians, Gripen thrives where no one expects it. Imagine this, a Gripen landing on a narrow stretch of highway, refueling in 10 minutes with just a handful of mechanics, and taking off again to fight. That is humiliation America cannot even comprehend. For decades, U.S. aircraft were designed for prestige projects. 
The F-35 alone cost over a trillion dollars in development and still suffers from endless problems. Overheating, software failures, maintenance nightmares. Gripen, meanwhile, quietly delivers results. Reliable, combat ready, and far cheaper. Which jet would you trust in a real war? The trillion dollar diva or the humble Swedish hunter? In classified war games, the truth became undeniable. Ja Gripen's electronic warfare system, called Arexis, has the power to paralyze enemy defenses. American pilots who went up against it described their radars turning useless, missiles missing targets, and communication systems jammed. In one exercise, Gripen's penetrated deep into simulated American defenses, destroying high-value assets that U.S. jets were supposed to protect. It was a humiliation so severe, the reports were buried. And there's more. Gripen is built for nations who cannot afford America's endless defense contracts. Brazil, South Africa, Hungary, the Czech Republic, and others chose Gripen not because it was cheap, but because it worked. These nations conducted their own tests, pitting Gripen against American fighters. Time and time again, Gripen proved it could survive, strike, and win. Imagine the embarrassment. Small countries flying Swedish jets, holding their own against the mighty U.S. Air Force. This is the ultimate underdog story. A jet born from necessity, perfected through simplicity, and unleashed with devastating effect. Gripen showed the world that the U.S. monopoly on air power was not invincible. That a nation with fewer resources but sharper thinking could humiliate the biggest superpower on Earth. And this humiliation is spreading. Every time another nation picks Gripen over an American jet, the Pentagon loses influence, loses billions, and loses face. The myth of American air dominance is collapsing, all thanks to a jet that America once dismissed as too small, too weak, too cheap. But as history has shown, underestimating your opponent is the deadliest mistake. And America has made that mistake with Gripen again and again. Gripen is not just an aircraft. It is a revolution in modern warfare where American jets are chained by their billion-dollar price tags, endless maintenance crews, and fragile logistics. Gripen is the free predator, designed to fight and survive where no one else can. Imagine a war where runways are destroyed in the first hour. American jets are grounded, helpless. But the Swedish Gripen? It lands on a frozen highway, refuels in 10 minutes, and is back in the fight. That is not just efficiency. It is a humiliation for every jet that America has ever built. In secret NATO exercises, pilots witnessed it firsthand. Gripen's electronic warfare systems jammed radars, disrupted communications, and blinded enemy aircraft. U.S. pilots found themselves killed before even knowing they were under attack. The shockwaves of those results spread quietly through military circles, but the public was never told. America's air dominance, built on decades of propaganda, had been cracked open by a nation with a fraction of the budget. And the humiliation doesn't stop at the battlefield. It spreads to the global arms market. Nations once dependent on Washington are turning away choosing Gripen as the smarter, deadlier option. Each deal lost is not just billions slipping away. It is America's image collapsing, its aura of invincibility shattered. Gripen proved the truth. The skies belong not to the richest, but to the most adaptable. And in that truth,